Sky Chase. Oh boy. Oh, they didn't fix that in this version. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, if if you spin dash here, you get like you can't spin dash, you'll die. And yeah, this is the level. I think this lasts for I think this is a minute and 30 seconds. I could be wrong about that. I like the song here. Very nice song. Um, I like how when you kill an enemy, the animal that's inside it literally just like plummets to the earth. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And I kind of like watching speedrunners play this zone. Granted, you can't do it any faster than the game lets you, but when you're watching someone who's really good at this game play this zone, they can, like, kill every single enemy that hops by. And yeah. If you're really good at this game, and I mean really crazy good at this game, you can rack up crazy points in this level and get a lot of 1-ups. Also, this is cool. This is cool. You get a little view of the next level right here. See that big giant ship behind us? Yeah, that's the next level. So that's pretty cool. This is like build up for the storm. And I don't really like how I mean I I mean I mean I know it's a late game level so it's so it's supposed to be hard but like whenever you get hit all of your rings just go away like they're really hard to get back and for a zone that's so long two whole minutes that, that's thirty seconds longer than I thought it was for a zone that's so long I think dying so late into the level can be pretty annoying. So I wish getting the rings back was a little bit easier. Anyway, we're here now. This is a really cool zone. This zone is awesome. This might be one of the best zones in the in the whole game. The music is amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. The aesthetic is really nice. It's cool. And come on, get up there. Get up there, Sonic, Sonic. There we go. You can take that little shortcut right there. That's pretty neat. Granted, it kind of messed up on me, but that is a shortcut you can take if you want. I don't have the rings, oh well. No, I'm not even gonna bother anymore. To be fair, the you know the all chaos emeralds ending in this game isn't it, it's nothing special. So yeah, you have these zips here, which is pretty nice. That's really cool. Very fun level. You got these going on. Oh, I got hit there. That's a shame. I like the enemies too. I don't know why. I I, I like these little. These little chicken badniks. Why do I like them? I couldn't tell you. I really just don't know. Also, this is an another reason why this is such a cool level is because there is no other level like this that I recall in the classic Sonic games. This is like the only level where you're on a big ship in the sky. So yeah, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go over here. Nice. There we go. I made it. I escaped. I persevered. And here we have some very tricky late game platforming. I love it. Gotta go faster than than the than than when they disappear. I'm stuttering a little bit. I don't know why. This is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. I love it. I need, I need to get seven more rings. That doesn't even do nothing. I know nearby. There we go. Okay. I'm going back now. 
Nope. Oh, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. Oh, well. That, yeah, that was my last chance to get it, so... Yeah. Alright, to the end of the zone we go. I couldn't get all the Chaos Emeralds, but I almost did. I got six of them, and really, that's better than nothing. You know, making it most of the way there is better than not making it there at all. And, yeah. But we do have a pretty neat boss fight here. Check this out. So these platforms spawn, but you cannot touch the bottom of the platform. Which makes this boss fight pretty tricky in my opinion. I think it's a really nicely designed late game boss fight. Because if you're good at the game, you, you will avoid damage. You don't have to get hit at all in this boss fight, no. But I... am not quite good at it, so you know. I get what I deserve. But I do like it, I like the challenge in this boss fight. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, let's do it, round two. Eight lives. That's funny. I, um... I think at one point I had 15 lives in this in this Let's Play. So, it's kind of funny. That, that means I died a lot. Oh, that's a shame. I got seven more attempts. I can make it this time. And the really convenient thing about this boss fight is that they give you a one-up right after you beat it, so... A and they give you that one-up for a reason, trust me. Oh boy, do they give it to you for a reason. There we go. There we go. I'm being serious. That that boss fight looks really annoying, and actually kind of is, but I do actually like that boss fight. I think it's kind of fun trying to avoid all of the platforms like that. A fun late game challenge. Look at this. What's happening? What? What is that in the sky? Dr. Eggman's getting away. Dr. Robotnik, as he's called in America. Hang on, Sonic! Don't let go! It's funny, during this cutscene, you can actually time out and die. <laughs> so if you're in that zone for nine minutes, Oh well. <laughs> I love it. Death Egg Zone? What? That sounds very climactic, and we'll be doing it next time. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the silver lining.